with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Turned out to be another scorcher of a day across the uh, coastal bend where we've had uh, temperatures well into the 90s, heat index values into the triple digits, but no rain. That southeasterly wind at 10 to 18 miles an hour has been a little breezy at times. Let's take a look at your live weather bug camera right on shoreline looking across uh, Corpus Christi Bay. Just a few little clouds out there, but 92 degrees. The southeast wind at 14 miles an hour. Visibility is pretty much unrestricted out there. As mentioned before, no rain on Doppler radar. And in fact, looking over at Rockport, also 92 degrees. So that south southeast wind at 11 miles an hour, looking very nice indeed. And you can thank that big upper level ridge, not only for the fair skies, but for the heat, especially uh, and you go further and further inland. You can see here very little in the way of rainfall across the Lone Star State. Do have some thunderstorms around the Sabine Pass area there, but those will be passing us well to the north and northeast. Instead, we're looking at more heat and humidity. Temperatures in the triple digits all the way from Austin and San Angelo, westward off to El Paso and southward down to Del Rio. 90s over much of the state, still just 89 in Lubbock, but around here, 90s prevail. And you can see that even poor day sitting at 90 degrees. But boy, look at these water temperatures. Been a long time since I see them consistently as high as that, even in our coastal waters. Out there at Malachi, 90 degrees. Uh, over in Sea Drift, 92 degrees. Those are water temperatures, not air temperatures. And we're still looking at a lot of humidity along the immediate coastline uh, with dew points in the middle to upper 70s, a little bit drier in the interior. So we've got heat index values between 100 and 105 in most locations. Now that's going to get a little bit worse tomorrow as we see more moisture coming in but no rain and so that all builds up and finally by Friday we do see a weak disturbance beginning to move its way into the area and what will that mean well isolated showers just a few across the area we're going to see more of the rainfall as you move into the weekend is that weak tropical wave you see that identified in this upper level chart here with that little yellow uh, dashed line moving across the Gulf of Mexico. Notice the big eights. That's the upper level high. Shifts off a little to the north and allows that tropical wave to move in. That'll be for your Saturday and that will bring scattered showers and thunderstorms. That actually moves on inland but the lingering instability gives us isolated showers Sunday through the middle of next week. So we're not looking for any big rainfall totals. So if you've got outdoor plans I wouldn't cancel them. I wouldn't postpone them. Just keep an eye on the sky. Maybe two tenths of an inch over the five-day period from Friday through the middle of next week. Tonight, though, well, mostly clear skies, 77 degrees, south-southeast wind into 18 miles an hour. So that patchy early morning fog you saw yesterday and this morning in our inland areas, you probably won't see that tomorrow. Too much wind, too much mixing of the atmosphere. Instead, tomorrow, mostly sunny, breezy, hot, Heat index values 103 to 108. It's going to be a scorcher out there with air temperatures climbing into the middle 90s. And as you see, moving into Friday, also middle 90s, but one or two little showers showing up late Friday afternoon, becoming scattered showers and thunderstorms on your Saturday. And then isolated rain showers Sunday through the middle of next week. Look for lows and the upper 70s and highs and the lower to middle 90s. Again, heat index is going to be the major factor Thursday and Friday. All right, Bill, thanks a lot. Well,